Alonzo Jones sitting in for Mayor Chris Bowich. And here's what's going on this week around our city. On Wednesday, May, tw May 21st at 12 noon, Mayor Bowich will attend the 8th anniversary celebration of the Honorary Ambassador Program. The event will take place at the Liberty Senior Center located at 240 Elizabeth Avenue. Later in the afternoon, Mayor Bowich will attend the annual Mayor's Book Club. The event will take place in the City Council Chambers. In the evening, Mayor Bowles will attend the Hope Center's Vision Program 6th Anniversary Reception. This event will take place in the Washington Mutual Bank Elizabeth Branch located on 113 Broad Street. On Thursday, May 22nd at 4.30 p.m., the Mayor will attend the 2nd Annual Prom Red Carpet Showcase. The event will feature various students from Elizabeth High School in their prom attire. For more information, contact Stan Neron at 908 820 -4032. Later in the evening, Mayor Bowles will attend the Hope Center's Vision Program 6th Annual Anniversary Reception. The event will take place in the Winfield Scott Ballroom located at 323 North Broad Street in Elizabeth. On Friday, May 23rd at 11 a.m., Mayor Bowles will join members of Brand New Day in a ribbon cutting ceremony. The event will be held on South Park Street in Elizabeth. For more information, contact Tracy Howard at 908 2820781 extension 101. On Saturday, May 24th at 12 noon, the annual Elizabeth Waterfront Memorial Weekend Festival will take place on Front Street. The festivities will take place from Saturday to Monday and will feature numerous Latin groups, food, games, and much more. On Sunday, May 25th at 7 p.m., Mayor Bowles will attend the St. Senior de More event. The event will take place at St. Anthony's Church located at 853 3rd Avenue in Elizabeth. If you need more information concerning this or any other upcoming events this week, please call the Public Information Office at 908-820-4124. Joining me this week to discuss the Portuguese parade, the Portugal Day Parade, is First Ward Councilman and the committee board member, Councilman Manny Grover. How are you? Good, all right, did I get that right? It's the... The Portugal Day Committee, yes. Portugal Day Committee, thank you. Now, how long has the Portugal Day festivities been a tradition in Elizabeth? Well, as a matter of fact, this year we're uh, celebrating our 30th uh, year anniversary um, of the parade. Uh, we started back in uh, 1978, and uh, it's been a long-standing tradition in our town and our, in our community. Now, what is the origin and the history of the Portugal Day in Elizabeth? Um, uh, 30 years ago, a young man, uh, 18 years old, uh, brought a, uh, he was, I think, involved with the youth group at the time mm -hmm. at our, at our uh, Portuguese Instructive uh, American Hall on, on a highway. And uh, back then, to, uh, he contacted the mayor, Tom Dunn, and said, you know, we'd like to celebrate our heritage in, in Elizabeth. We had a big community, which mm -hmm. we still do, and uh, it was received and uh, had our first parade, and that's where we're at. Beautiful. Now... What is the reason for having a celebration in, in May and June? Why is that? Well, June 10th is the uh, birth date of um, one of the most famous poets of Portugal. Uh, Luiz de Camões um, was, is like a, uh, a Dante in, in the Italian uh, community, and uh, he was very famous. And, and so June 10th has become the Portugal day, and we kind of uh, celebrate our mm -hmm. festivities around that date. Um, and uh, especially for countries outside of Portugal where there's a big uh, community, that's, that's the date that we use. Okay. Now tell us about the Portuguese presence in Elizabeth and their contributions to the community. Well, we've, um, our community uh, started migrating into, uh, into the Elizabeth area in, in, in the late 40s and, and early 50s. Uh, a lot of the uh, uh, early generations participated in the World Wars um, on behalf of the United States. And over the years, uh, our community has uh, basically formed a foundation in this town. Uh, we enjoy it. Uh, we come from a country uh, that's rather small uh, in size, but uh, we adopted here. We're hardworking. Uh, it's a hardworking community. Um, all the trades, construction, plumbing, electric. Mm -hmm. um, we've um, we've uh, evolved in, in in that sense because. Um, a lot of the um, newer generations, such as myself, where we've gone on to college and you know, became attorneys and doctors and, and uh, architects. And so our community has uh, basically um, uh, shown the, uh, the American dream, so to speak. Right. You know? 
Um, and my parents, uh, my parents came over in uh, the late 50s. Uh, they met here, got married here. Um, my sister and I were born here. And uh, our community in, in Elizabeth, I'd say we, we probably have uh, 10 to 15,000 people in, in Elizabeth that are of Portuguese uh, descent uh, or ancestry. And uh, we love to have nice houses and keep things clean. A little pride in that. Now, I notice you put yourself into the new generation. The next, shouldn't you be the a little bit older than? <laughs> well, I, I consider myself um, first generation because I was, I was uh, the first, in, in, in first generation in my family to be okay. born here. Um, my parents were not one of the first to come, though. There, there were uh, probably at least one or two generations before them. Uh, who started coming in. I just thought you were trying to become a teenager all over again there. <laughs> now, every year the Portugal Day Committee selects a Grand Marshal. Um, who are these honorees and what is the history behind such distinction? Well, our Grand Marshal um, of, of our parade is someone who is of Portuguese descent and who has contributed to the community in general mm -hmm. uh, of their own free will, um, whether it was um, donating things to the church, donating things to the club, um, giving up a lot of their time, uh, you know. It, it's so difficult now to get mm -hmm. people who volunteer. Okay. Um, but you have uh, a segment of our community, certain people that do volunteer and do it of their own free will. And so our Grand Marshal is selected with the criteria that the committee sets up. Right. Um, and names come to the table and we discuss it and, and we choose uh, the best person mm -hmm. at the time. We also have two other categories. We have a posthumous uh, Grand Marshal, somebody of the same criteria but who has passed on. Um, and then last year we started um, uh, an honorary Grand Marshal, um, which is someone who's not part of uh, the Portuguese community but who has helped uh, and we see as somebody who's mm -hmm. been very um, involved in the community. And so uh, this year our Grand Marshal is C Cesar Moreira, mm -hmm. resident of Elizabeth. Um, our um, honorary Grand Marshal is um, Lieutenant uh, William Dugan. Mm who okay. uh, heads our traffic division. Um, and so uh, we have a, a very nice uh, you know, a group of people uh, who've, um, who've come together to select those. Okay. And what are the scheduled events for this year's celebration? Well, our, um, our main events that are, that are coming up um, on Friday, May 30th, is our flag raising uh, mm -hmm. ceremony. And uh, that's usually a, a very nice event because um, we, uh, we meet outside of front of City Hall, um, some, some speeches, some performance mm -hmm. by some of our youth uh, groups. Uh, we raise the flag. Uh, we then all go inside the council chambers. Um, the mayor presents to Portugal Day Committee president with the proclamation announcing, you know, Portugal Week in right. Elizabeth. Um, and then that following Sunday, um, we have our, our Portugal Day uh, parade, which is June 1st. It's uh, one of the biggest parades in Elizabeth mm -hmm. uh, still today. Uh, we start our parade. Um, where Sovereign Bank is, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I guess, Liberty Square. Um, no, it's not Liberty Square. Uh, Minuteman Square. And we go up from, um, from Sovereign Bank, used to be the old Harmonia Bank. Right. Uh, we start there, and we march up to Broad Street to the courthouse. Uh, then we turn left onto Broad Street. And we march over to Grove Street. Mm -hmm. And we turn left on Grove Street, and we finish in the, uh, the backyard or, okay. or the... Uh, the lot of the Portuguese American Hall, um, and then for the rest of the night we have you know festivities outside uh, in the in the backyard of the hall. Now, is there a certain food we can look forward to? That yes, uh, Portuguese are very famous for their sardines, barbecued okay. sardines, uh, barbecued chicken, um, the uh, what we call the caldo verde, which is uh, the green soup, which is uh, collard green soup uh, with a little chorizo in it. And uh, that's, those are our, our, and the vinho verde. You gotta, gotta drink the wine. 